Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about the spider camera holster and an accessory called the spider monkey. Now, a lot of you may have traditional camera straps. This is a little bit fancier leather one that um, I got courtesy of Sigma, but um, you typically have one that either comes with the camera or something like that, and those tend to wear on your neck after a while. They're you know, like this one's can be fashionable, but it's uh, not very practical for a long time as your neck starts getting rubbed sore. Uh, and for years, I've been a very uh, loyal and happy uh, fan of the Black Rapid system, um, which is a, a system I still enjoy. But um, I wanted, you know, had plenty of people talk to me about this uh, spider holster and wanted to, you know, talk to you about my feedback and essentially what I've learned using this product. So let me go ahead and put these things aside and make a little space and show you that on the bottom of your camera, it's really cool, they actually have this little uh, Allen wrench built in and it doesn't fall out. It's spring loaded so it's never going to fall out and um, you can easily take your uh, camera plate on and off so if you have, you know, tripod um, and need to switch to Arca Swiss plate or do something um, it's really quick and easy to do that and you know you'll have an Allen wrench with you to do it um, there's um, some bumpers here for you know for a proper installation you want these bumpers to be against your camera body to avoid this thing from swiveling so one of the mistakes I think I see a lot of people do is they kind of try to align this to the back and that's wrong if you align it properly up front then there's no way this thing's going to rotate um, the system's designed for being able to be carried on your right or left side, and if you have dual bodies, then you can actually do both. And so that's why they have these R and Ls. I have a, a right mount side, and I'm going to show you kind of briefly how this works. Let me go ahead and put this back. I've got a belt here from Spider Holster. If you have other types of belts you want to use, or you have um, like Think Tank Photo belts, which is what I use, um, they do have uh, an adapter so that you can mount that to those um, belts. But I'm going to use the one they've given to me, and it's actually quite nice. I enjoy it. Um, so essentially, the way this works is you have this little ball that you slide into here. And then you mount your camera upside down backwards like this. Now, if you want, you can switch, flip this switch, and that locks it in. There's no way this thing's going to come out. Now, if you've done it properly, even without the switch, there's no way this thing will come out. And I've actually put it to the test. You know, I've ran, I've uh, sat down where the camera you know pushes against something. I've tried a variety of different things. And it does stay locked, but I'm very paranoid, so I do like to go ahead and flip that switch when I'm not testing. And so the cool thing about this is that I can just pivot and easily pull it out, put it back in, you know, point the lens towards the back of my body and upside down mount, and works great. You know, nothing's touching or rubbing uh, from the plate against the uh, holster, and you know, overall works well. Now, I will say that with my um, you know, heavy camera bodies and big lenses, that without any shoulder support on here, um, I find you know just too much weight on my waist for my back. I've got a bad back, so um, it tends up tends to just be too much weight. So I I would recommend if you have a bad back like me that you might want to go ahead and have um, a shoulder harness, which I believe they offer. And um, that sort of helps redistribute the load. Or if you have an existing um, Think Tank Photo um, uh, belt that actually has, uh, or the modular system that has a belt um, with the shoulder harness, then I would use that and just get the correct adapter. Um, it comes with this uh, instruction guide with QR codes that you can quickly scan and view on your phone uh, videos on how to use the product. And um, yeah, as shown here, even with long lenses, you still mount it to the body and you just point it backwards. I've used 70 to 200s all day long. I haven't had a problem. Um, the belt that you get from them has a double lock system, so you actually have to push this lock and this lock 
in order to unlock it so it stays nice and secure. And overall, it's good good design. It really makes you know, getting your camera off really quick and easy. And this brilliant uh, design with having the Allen wrench built in means that you're not stuck with doing it all day. So sometimes I would find that I'd want to take it off because I want to set my camera down uh, on a uh, flat surface uh, for a long exposure. Well, you know, I had the Allen wrench right there. I could just take it off. I typically throw the adapter on here and lock it so that way I don't misplace the adapter and everything worked out okay for me. So um, another cool thing they have is this uh, product called the Spider Monkey. And I actually have it attached here to the belt, but you can actually attach this just to your regular uh, belt. And you can put accessories. So in this particular case, I have a Canon Flash, and this is basically a strong adhesive and then an extra retaining belt. And so the cool thing here is I can click that on here, and if I use one of the um, coil cables, I can go ahead and connect it to my flash and have a really quick and easy grab for an off-camera flash. So it's a really nice um, design. Really like these products. Um, you know, as to you know which one's better, the um, black rapid straps or the spider holster, it's kind of personal preference. Um, I like you know things distributed over my shoulders, so I still am a big fan of this. But this is also um, a lot you know faster design if you'd like to have a real you know um, uh, you know free flow of the camera. Another thing that I find that's a challenge about this is that if I go to trade shows and I'm wearing a shirt with a logo, this blocks the logo um, you know, or name badge, so I can make it difficult for people to identify who I am or who I'm with. And so this design's nice in that it doesn't have that limitation. Um, camera's out of the way. So are the straps out of the way. Now if you use the shoulder strap with this, as suggested, then you know you'll still have that same problem. So at any rate, this is not a flaw of either one. Both are great products. I like them both. So uh, which one you get kind of depends on your needs. Thanks a lot for listening. Please visit my blog for more information.